Hello guys, Keeper on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And also, if you have been watching the content the past 28 days and are not subscribed to the channel, it would be massively appreciated if you could um, help me out uh, enormously by dropping a sub. We're 20 uh, subscribers off 2,900. And um, once we've hit that, we're going to be looking, uh, it's going to be the final, um, the final road to uh, 3,000 subscribers so yeah we upload daily by the way don't miss out make sure you don't miss out on any blues transfer news blues takeover news and just blues news in general that we post and as i said we post daily but yeah getting on to today's video i'm going to be talking about um the birmingham city season preview for the 23 slash 24 season now of course the season starts this saturday away to swansea city and um it feels like, I mean, it, it feels like yesterday that we played Sheffield United in the, uh, Sheffield United in the last game of uh, the season. It feels like it was not nearly, it's nearly three months ago that we played them. But it feels, I mean, this summer has gone so quick, hasn't it? Which is good. It's good. You know, Blues are back. And of course, um, this, is a, this is a season of, um, you know, a new era. It's a season of uh, a new era. We've got new owners. We've got new players coming into the football club. We've had a massive overhaul, really, in terms of the squad. Um, and also, well, the only thing that really hasn't changed is um, the manager, John Eustace. We'll be getting in, we'll be getting into him um, later on in the video. So, my thoughts on the upcoming season. Now, as I said, we brought in some really good players. Have we got a better squad than the last season? Well, I'm looking at the goal. The goalkeeper staying the same, John Ruddy in goal. I think he's a solid option to have. Well, I say option. I mean, he's literally the number one goalkeeper, isn't he? I think, yeah, I think he's a solid goalkeeper to have in between the sticks. Um, the left back and the right back, of course, we lost, we lost Max and Colin. Um, Trustee played left back um, sometimes last season. But yeah, I mean, I think we've upgraded, upgraded in the left back and the right back positions. I think... Colin, yes, he was a good servant for the football club, but I think you know his time was up. His, it was time to move on. The midfield, now the midfield, um, I still think that needs a bit of a boost. You know, we, of course, we brought in Christian Bielik, who, who we had last season. This time, though, we brought him back on a permanent basis. Um, and the wingers, you know, the wingers, that's that's um, the one of the uh, well, the position that we've upgraded um, massively this summer. Of course, we brought in Kashi Anderson. Um, Mayashi, um, Tyler Roberts can actually play as a winger as well. Then Bele, who um, I saw the highlights against Peterborough, looked really, really threatening. The striker department, um, Troy Deeney leaving the club, Sam Cosgrove coming back on loan, Hogan and Lukas Zukovic, um, Tyler Roberts as well, if you can count him as a striker. So, um, yeah, I do think we have a better squad than we did, when, than we did last season, and as well, this the difference to uh, last season to this season is um or this season to last season should I say is um that um this time round um we've actually got players you know ninety percent of our squad um do we even have any loan players in the team I don't think we haven't signed a loan player this summer have we no we don't have any loan players if I'm not mistaken I might I I can't I can't remember I don't think we have signed any loan players so yeah the squad is um. You know, there's there's more of um you know a project going on at this at this football club. There's more of a um like a long term uh, vision, because when you have players out on loan, like half our squad last season was you know loan players. They're not really committed one hundred percent to the football club, are they really? Because it's not their actual football club, in hindsight. But yeah, this it, look, I've gone into seasons before. The, like the last couple of seasons, I've gone into it like really, really optimistic, saying that we're gonna get playoffs, we're gonna get promoted, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. We signed Troy Deeney, we're gonna get the playoffs. It's a ticket to the playoffs. Lee Bowie come into the football club his first season. He's gonna get us into the playoffs and get us promoted back where we belong. Didn't happen. Cranker thought it would happen. Didn't happen. So, obviously, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not saying. I'm. I'm trying to do this like reverse psychiatry. I'm not saying we're getting playoffs. I mean, Adibola bloke. Said on Debo's video yesterday, he thinks we'll finish fifth. I think mid table would be a really, really good season for Birmingham City Football Club. And as well, if we want to get promoted this season, you've got the likes of Leicester, Southampton, and Leeds coming down from the Premier League. Leicester City, okay, we're not getting top two. Leicester, Southampton, I think, are the top, they're guaranteed to get top two. 
And then you've got the league is really hard this season. It's it is really hard. I mean, to get even to, even to get into them playoff positions, it's going to be difficult because you've got teams improving. And um, yeah, I, I can't see us getting playoffs. I think that's that's too soon for us. And as well, the manager John Eustace. Now John Eustace did a good job for us last season, but is he going to be under pressure because Tom Magnet is not going to be afraid to press the button? Whereas the owners that we had previously, you know, they didn't really want to, you know, pay his compens compensation fee. So if we was, look, the first couple of games, we've got Swansea away, who I think, you know, we beat them 4-3 last season. That's obviously going to be a difficult test. Leeds at home, Bristol City away, I believe, and then Plymouth at home. So we've got, you know, we've got a platform to build on. Out of those fir uh, first four games, Leeds is the only really, uh, you know, difficult challenge for us. Um, but when, yeah... With John Eustace, look, say if we're like 18th, 19th in October, mid-October, look, I could I could actually see um him getting sacked if results don't improve and we get we go on runs like we did last season. And, um just to touch upon the uh, striker department, we definitely need a striker, we definitely need centre backs. That's the two main positions that we need to strengthen before the window closes. Of course it's August the first now. A month to go until the transfer window closes. We have to act on that. But yeah, my final prediction for the upcoming season, 23 slash 24 season, I think we'll finish, I'm going to go for 12th. I think we'll finish 12th in the top half. And I think that'd be a massive, um, you know, massive uh, progress for the football club because we've gone through a lot the past couple of seasons, haven't we? Um, I would love to say that we're getting playoffs and we're getting promoted to the Premier League because we've been in the Championship for so long, but I don't, I just don't think that's realistic. Anyways, we're going to keep right on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can watch your likes. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, as always, guys. Keep right on.